Hi guys and welcome back to Manny Centric. We are here today doing a quick look for the don't use it challenge. Now if you haven't found out about this or haven't heard about it, um, I was on Instagram and looking at, um, I believe it was Okay, so I was looking at Cody's Beauty Studio, which I believe they have their own YouTube as well. So if you want to check that out, um, basically I was looking at some of their awesome stuff and I came across the Don't Use It Challenge. Um, the hostess for this is Short Nails for Fun and basically the challenge is you're given a theme, but there are stipulations. Things that you can't use. And this is to encourage the creative process. So, of course, I was really excited and I want to end on this. Um, and I will say, like... At first, when I looked at it, it was like, this is going to be hard. I don't know if I can do this, but like less than five minutes later, it was like ideas were already percolating and things were generating. So um, this month's theme is autumn. The only restrictions are no vegetables or leaves, hand-drawn or stamped. So I will go ahead and post up screenshots for you guys and I'll see if I can get uh, links so that you can join and maybe get on, get in on this while it's still early in the month and it gives you guys time to come up with some designs. But I did decide that I will go ahead and film a couple of ideas that I have so that you have some inspiration. So this first one, of course, I'm using some pretty, I believe, fall colors. Oh, shimmer. Um, <laughs> and I think I got these. Yeah, I got these from Julep. I don't know how many years ago, but um, the dark one is Sandy. And this is like the one that I have on my thumb with the, can I get a shot of it? All right, that dark and like dark color and then you've got like the gold and reddish shimmer in there. And then for the medium shade is Nahali. And I like this one cuz it it's not it's not bronze, it's not copper. It's something beautiful and in between. Like you can see the silver and reddish shimmers in that. And then, of course, what will fall be without a nice gold shade? Um, this one is Marlene. So I went ahead and grabbed all these because I thought that they would make a nice impact. And I do have like my regular pain, my regular plain nails because I like the middle shade so much. But we're also going to do some accent nails. And what I was hoping to do was a little drag action. Um, big sickly, that's where I keep dotting and dotting and dotting and dotting and then dragging it. And we're going to see if it will work for me. Because it worked on paper. That is not to say that it will work on a nail. So that's that's kind of one of the things that I've learned is that as much as I would like it to always work out, it doesn't. And I'm thinking I'm almost taking a little too much time between these. But...
and for some reason like it worked on the paper it did not work on this one so what I'm going to do is just make it like a little bit of a spread out almost a feathered design mixing all three of these colors and then I'll give it another go on the other finger because improv is somewhat part of what I do because I don't ever usually have a specific idea in mind before I start which I did kind of have an idea in mind for this one before I started and I'm a little upset that it didn't turn out the way I wanted it but that's okay that's part of life but that's not to say I'm not gonna try it again so I'm gonna paint this one in a gold shade because I really like these colors I was kinda surprised at first that I liked them so much because there's so much shimmer in it that I almost feel like it's almost overdoing it but once I put them on it was a whole nother story And what I'm trying to do is spread it out a little bit more this time. Because that's why I put the liquid latex on. It was because I was kind of sure I was going to get it a little messy. You like, you kind of, sometimes you kind of know. This isn't going to be a clean, easy mani. It's going to get messy. And this time it's actually almost turning out the way I like it. So I'm feeling a huge huge feeling of just like overwhelming joy right now and I'm kind of pulling it just at the back end so that it may level out a little bit before I put top coat on it I'm wiping off the like teeny little striper brush and this is what the dragging did so I did pull some of that bulk off with my fingertip because I just I can't as much as I like it I can't do like a whole lot of bulk as far as nail polishes on my nail and I'm really happy with how that came out. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean up around the edges. And that's why you guys see like I've got a paper towel today in my workstation. And this is just before I pull the liquid latex off. See, when I tried to keep it clean, I got like a little feathery, feathery design where the colors are mixing in together, but not really. Um, and then when I went messy and all out, I got what I really wanted. So maybe it's okay sometimes to go outside of the box which is what I'm pretty sure this challenge is all about and that's why I was so excited so stay right there gonna grab some tweezers and clean this up and then be right back with a final look 
Okay guys, I am back and cleaned up my cuticles just a little bit and I have to say it could be just, you know, ego talking because when you do something, it's always a hundred thousand times better than just what somebody else did, but I am really, really liking how these turned out. Like, I love the shimmer of the polishes. So, yeah, I'll probably be swatching those separately. But I also like how they go together. Like, I just really like that whole... I wasn't sure I was going to like this, but I like that whole splash-like design. Um, and the dragging, I definitely need a ton of practice on that. But still not disappointed at all so um i am gonna do maybe one maybe two more looks for this challenge but i'll post up this picture right away and this video as soon as possible i'll also try to see if i can insert earlier in the video a few pictures of um sorry screenshots of what i'm talking about but anyway since I haven't said it this video, thank you again so much for everyone who has subscribed and everyone who's following me on Instagram, everybody who is really supporting me on this journey. It's not a lot of work because it's fun to me, but the best part is being able to share it with you guys and talk to other people who are nail obsessed like I am. Um, and if you have not subscribed, liked, or shared, go ahead and do that now. I'll provide a little time at the end of the video, but thank you again for joining me today. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your evening.